Welcome, dear friends. It is me, Quack and Dragon, and we're back into Grim Prendego, and there's this strange musical tree creature. <laughs> so, we're just gonna continue and try and find uh, Meche, which is, I guess, Manny's ticket out of this place. So, <laughs> let's do this. Hey, Gladys, you're doing all right. I'm so small. Gladys, what are they doing to that tree? Oh, city boy. You work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The power of these trees, man. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Maro? Huh? I thought of that. <laughs> oh, I... Maybe so. I love the movement of his he ears. It's so cute. The marrow of these trees. Got a trophy. Alright. Oh. Interesting. So is this doing anything? turned off those pumps might shake that tree apart oh but oh. oh if we shook the tree down those pumps would dislodge and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon hold on I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights that'll shake it down for sure okay oh god <laughs> okay just give me a second to balance these doggies. Okay. Why don't you just sway side from side? I think you could do it too. <laughs> but oh well, let's do it this that way. should do it. Oh? Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. Uh, maybe. Let's try this. I don't know if I'm supposed to have both red ones. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Ah, uh, it's weighing more though. Let's see, let's see. Is this it? <laughs> okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, Benny! What are you doing? Whee! <laughs> oh wait, is it working? No. Okay, let's turn them off. <laughs> Sorry, dude. That was a dirty trick, Manny. <laughs> oh, it was an accident. I bumped the switch with my elbow. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I sure did. <laughs> sure, buddy, go up there. La, 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 la. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. Okay, bye. <laughs> Whee! Manny, you promise! <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. Can I move it? Up, 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 up. Come on, you can do it. 
I don't know, man. Ah, uh, if only the second one would come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah! This is it! Neat! <laughs> that took forever, but we got it. Until now, we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on, we saw <laughs> Okay. Like eagles. Yeah. Like eagles on pogo sticks. Yeah, okay. Sure. Ooh. Nice. Got hydraulics. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. <laughs> Get in. Or are you afraid of heights? <laughs> Don't be scared, Manny. Wait. What's this? What's that thing on the ground? Hold on. I'll be back, man. There's something over here. <laughs> you, you do you. Oh. Wait. Okay. Just stole this sign. <laughs> Can I take it? I don't really want to do that. Can I put it away? Not right now. Not right now. Uh. What do? Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh. Ha! Ah! Is it telling me the way to go? Wait a second. Oh god, Manny, you're so slow. <laughs> Do I have to take it with me? Oh god. <laughs> Maybe. This way! Oh, I see. Oh, okay, okay. Because I already play played in this little area. I already played in that area for a while. I didn't know the direction, so I think it makes sense now. All right, let's go. Maddie, you're so much quicker running. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's see where we're supposed to go. Tell me, oh mystical sign. Uh, that one. Let's check if the... Oh! Wait, where is it going? Where you be pointing? Okay, so... 
Just keep going this way. Got it! Alright, let's go! Put on the tunes. Let's ride. Okay, so... I had to freaking finally look it up. And that is just... That is just messed up. <laughs> like, cause I thought we were following the signs to the caves and eventually the it would open up and do whatever the heck it's supposed to do because I was following the caves. But no! I'm pretty sure, and I, I'm not sure of course because I've never played this, but I am pretty sure we just take the freaking sign around. take the freaking sign around and see where it's pointing. You don't even deal with the flipping caves. Oh my god. Like, ugh. Alright, so. A little bit more. How long I have been doing that. And it Loteria. I'm just uh, I just like frustrated beyond belief because that is just messed up. Uh, I said it before, I'll say it again, the puzzles on this are not the greatest because they cause logic would dictate in this scenario that you follow whatever hole and eventually uh, you'll find like a different path. But no. <laughs> uh. Okay, yeah, definitely, definitely not my favorite part of this game so far. It is just really, are you serious? <sighs> I'm just gonna go down. Screw it. I don't, I don't need the car. Where am I? Hello? There I am. <sighs> well, there's a key. Let's go get the key. Maybe. It looks they'll tear you apart bone by bone and build with you a human throne. Their buck tooth king will sit upon what once was you but now is gone. This okay. key unlocks the gates of hell. <laughs> Steady traveler, use it well. Get down. Woo. Can't pass up an old creepy key. Alright, so I have a key. Doesn't do much by itself. Well, no. Uh, let's explore. Uh, what does this way go? Alright, this way. Oh! Okay. Hello? Oh, Gladys. Hey. Manny! What are you doing? Aye, don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? No. Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny! They'll make you into a dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! They don't use wood. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Ah. Oh, wait. I got a bow. Why? Okay, they're friendly now. I don't know why I keep taking the bows, but. <laughs> It's in the car. 
Uh, I can't. Okay. No, I don't think I can swim a single stroke in that tar. into the star. Alright. Let's see. Let's do it again. Alright. How many bombs do I need? I don't need. Uh, that's not four, so I don't know. If I need four. Alright, ready? I don't hear them anymore, so I think I did it. Woo! Okay, the beasts of Black River are blowing bubbles at the bottom, so let's power on through, huh, Glot? Manny, look at that badass gate. I can't drive through that. We have to find the key. Ijole. I have a key. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What, no, dead? I would want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. Aw, I would not trust that freaking bridge, though. Like, those bones would freaking shatter. Especially if they're old. Oh, where are we now? Hello? Miss Colomar! We're here to save you! <laughs> hey, lay off the racket, the whole town's asleep. Where's the fans? Drag race! When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town! <laughs> You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. <laughs> just, just, just stay there. I'll, I'll be back. Just, yeah. Mhm. Mm it's fine. Daddy loves you. <laughs> you special, special snowflake, you. Uh. Okay. Ooh. What? The, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Tourists. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, <laughs> looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Pirate Man. I didn't realize there was a thing. Anyway. Yeah, at least he got a friend now. Let's go. Uh, okay. Oh. 
Can is a diner? Hey, dude. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, <laughs> is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? Oh. <laughs> Let's see, I'm looking for... Let's see, what are you doing here? Yeah. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so I came here to wait for her. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. <laughs> all right. Uh. Let's I'm looking see. for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Okay. Yeah, how... How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny, if she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. No. Oh. Aww. Oh. What's she look like? I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? <laughs> um, how is... She... Wait. If he hasn't seen her, how does he have a photo of her as a skeleton? Well, I guess the DOD said, but still. <laughs> how... So many questions. Uh, so, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. <laughs> I had a job. Oh. <laughs> Can, Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? So no. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. Oh. <laughs> I want the walking stick. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. <laughs> I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. <laughs> can I go? No, I can't. Okay. Wait, can I take anything? Are you sure? There's only room for one. <laughs> Ah, but I want a mob. Okay, so nothing else I can do here. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's clip it through something. Can I look at the picture? Oh. It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. Oh, <laughs> don't be mean. Alright, so let's not go over... Uh, let's talk to the pirate dude, well, I guess. actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? Uh-huh. Okay, they're done. <laughs> there was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise <laughs> missile. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that's a good one. Uh -huh. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks going to stay in Rubicava for a spell? I guess so. Um. Let's see. Your car talk. No. We're going to interrupt their car talk. Let's see if he knows about Mitchie. Well, you're looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like <laughs> I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> well, I mean, she did say she had a tattoo, but it was on her skin, obviously. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> Aw, but I want a blue jacket. It looks so cool. Uh, 
How do you yeah. get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, <laughs> by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow. Manny, could I have an eye patch? Sure. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, they don't have eyes. Can so. I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Hey. Okay. He's just scream like a banshee. <laughs> Um, well, yes, about identifying things. Uh, what do you know? Hey, you. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She no. sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. Oh, no. And she wasn't alone. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh no, that's so heartbreaking. Oh. Oh, I hope I hope it's just yeah. Oh man. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. <laughs> what was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't really? make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave you. Oh, uh, no. Does this mean I have to break his heart? Uh no. Okay. <laughs> Let's go tell him. So oh. Well, maybe he'll move on, I guess. To I don't know what, but something. Um dude. Dude. I'm sorry. I have some hard news. Celso, your wife sailed out of here 2 months ago with another man. <laughs> it's all in there. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This Aww. mob at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. <laughs> Irony. You're one. Okay. Are there different years in this thing? Oh my god. Really? Dude. Oh, he's so fancy. Hey boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. Hmm. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. <gasps> Is he it sounds like your type? Oh. Is it her? Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. Uh, is it her? It kind of looks like it. Oh, I actually prefer this outfit over his other one. I don't know. To me, it's more fancier. But, uh, and it suits him a little bit more, I think. But, um, yeah. So, I have no idea how many years this thing has. I mean, it's been a year later since he left the DOD. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. <laughs> but oh that sucks I hope that guy actually did uh, what was the name Celso or whatever did find his wife eventually <laughs> even though it was just 
someone showing her around? I don't know. <laughs> and anyway, I'm, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, yeah, I've been recording for so long, especially that one part. It was so frustrating, uh, but it's really interesting otherwise. But thank you guys so much for watching. You know, leave a comment. Have you played this game? <laughs> um, what did you think about that freaking tree puzzle? It's like, did you, would you have gone with the car going through the holes? Or would you just to put the sign somewhere? I don't know. But uh, like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing so far. And, you know, share me around. I'm still pretty new in YouTube, so it, it would help out a little bit. See you guys. Bye.